Hey Tamers and welcome to another match. Today we got Sirius Mon versus Empyodramon. DNA versus I guess undersource. Undersources. Sources under you get what I'm trying to say. How does it hold up? Because Empyodramon, I'm not gonna lie, has gotten power crept. And it's you'll see how this plays out. So I did take it off. I wanna play the Gammon first and search. You saw I didn't get the Kano Weissman. I'm not gonna lie, I tweaked. I forgot that. You can get him. I'm like, wait, he doesn't have Gammon in his text, but he does. <laughs> so I realized afterwards that I could get him. He does drop a Davis. He does get two hits right there. I don't know what he did right there, but he bottom decked the one that he played and he played that one. I didn't care as long as he didn't activate the play again. Did go for two. I really, really love schools. I am contemplating on putting it up to four. And the reason I love this is because of this. So you swing and now you just get to play that Gammon, Gammon again. And now you play the on play and you just get to keep cycling. So that ghouls is just nuts. And then even if it doesn't die, now you have retaliation. So it's kind of a pseudo armor purge, which I think is better because you can actually take a Digimon down with you. Here we go. We do see the X Vmon come up, plays a Vmon. And here he does take a Lanamon which was a mistake. We ended up uh, rectifying that. Uh, Lanamon does not have free in his trade, so the only target there was the XV Mon. Uh, so he does, like I said, he does fix that. And then he ends up DNAing by playing the Stingmon end of turn. Going into that Dino B and then you, it does have a pseudo blitz, so you are allowed to swing at a Digimon. Then he does gain two memory. Playing a Wormon, fishing out, and he does have that Dragon Mode there, which he does take. So here, I need to get rid of this, because if I don't, I mean that, yeah, it can be difficult. So I do move up to Gammon, use Hero's Effect, place another Gammon. Here, I just wanted to build the DP. So now I would get 2000 DP if I Digivolve. Now I can use Hero, which I use Hero here. When you Digivolve, tap, get another 2000. So now he's at 10k with the Gammon underneath. So I was able to swing over that Dino Beamon from a champion, which is pretty good. Then I just ended up digivolving to Kano Weissman there. I finally drew one, which I would have had one before, but you know. Uh, it does He does go back to three because he does have a Davis. He uses a Hammer Spark going to five, four, I'm sorry. Digivolving into that Labramon, gain a memory if you have jamming when you attack. Playing another Hammer Spark going to five. So now I'm here, I'm, I'm like worried. I'm like, okay, is he going to play a Wormon and then Mega Death? Because <laughs> that's what makes this Empyodramon that good is... It does have removals, and then you can DNA really, really quick. So I was really scared of Mega Deaths and then swinging into security and hitting a Mega Death. Here he DNA'd, so he was able to DNA again. However, you see I have the Battle Gamamon that could give myself Raid. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So now I'll gain the memory, and that's what makes this deck just really nuts. You're able to just give yourself some effects like that. Give yourself effects like that. So then I did draw twice for the egg, gain a memory, and then I just opted to go to the Sirius instead of using Raid. Because now since I have uh, Arcturus there, I'll just bottom source it using Sirius' mod when Digivolving. Get to pop something, which right there it gets popped. Arcturus does trigger and now it trashes because I can't, like I'm telling you, I'm scared of these uh, Mega Deaths coming out. So I'm like, you know what, I gotta be aggressive. Swing, hit another Davis and can plays out and then I just digivolve in the back kind of setting myself up in case this serious mod does leave and now here if a mega death is played I will not be able to play a gamma mon because serious mod wouldn't get deleted he just goes back to my hand and then here plays war mon gets to get an xv mon or v mon gets the xv mon there and now here what sucks for him is that he'll digivolve but he wouldn't be able to DNA there and having raid it probably would have been better for him to stay in the back because I wouldn't be able to win but now since I have raid with Arcturus I will trash one he unsuspends I'll be able to swing again so that's two checks with Sirius and then I should be able to win here with Wazen Gamamon which does play out just like that so a good thing here is, or not a good thing, but you just gotta know what you're up against. And I hope you guys enjoy this one. And we'll see you guys on the next one.